Hello everyone, this is Joseph again with the Honda Civic. Uh, two questions. First of all, what happens if my both reverse lights don't work? Why? Second question, both of my brake lights don't work and also the high mount brake lights don't work. Why is that? Let's analyze the situation. Here I have the schematic in front of me as you can see. Always beginning with battery 7.5 amps now first of all we're going to go over here as we all know the relay has to be activated current flow first has to come in this direction going down here follow this path follow this path when we come to this path we see two things cvt Automatic transmission. We're going to go this way. Automatic transmission. In order for this to happen, we know the, re the reverse lights come on when we are in reverse. That means the transmission range switch, this has to be in, in reverse. This is the only position that has a connection, as you see. Any other one will be open circuit. Park, nope. Neutral drive, nothing. Only reverse will give you a connection back to the battery for current to flow. Once we establish that, current can flow, and we know we have to find a, find a path to ground, and that's what we have. That's the complete circuit for activate the, the coil, to magnetize the coil. Once that happens, we said the contacts come in, the, the switch is pulled in, into this position once this happens this goes here we're gonna we're gonna go with this one this one green wire green wire green wire and we're gonna light up the two bulbs for backup so the first thing that has to happen we have to be in reverse that will trigger it. If we are not in reverse, this will not happen. This will not happen for current to flow. So, I asked the question before. Both of my reverse lights do not work. If I change the bulb, I say, wait a second, I changed the bulb. Can both bulbs, can both bulbs be out? Possible? But let's analyze it. Maybe a problem with this switch over here. Maybe a problem, the relay is not activated. Therefore, we're going to go over here. And remember, I told you, let's measure 12 volts over here. If we measure 12 volts over here, what does that tell us? That means this relay on this side has been activating. That means the switch is good, the relay is good, and this part is good. In one shot, uh, once you go over here to this point, in 12, uh, you get 12 volts over here. That means you are connected to B plus battery. That means all of this circuit is working, including this switch, including the grounds in one shot. Therefore, if we come over here, we measure 12 volts. We come over here after this wire and we measure zero. That means in between here and here somehow, Remember, under dash, uh, um, under dash fuse relay box, it could be an open over here in the connection, in the wire. If we get zero volts over here, we have to backtrack. We have to look and say, okay, <clears throat> is this relay being activated? Is the switch good? Therefore, is the, if the fuse would be good, yes, it would give us the same problem. If the relay is bad, yes, it will give us the same problem. If the switch is bad, it will give us the same problem. The ground is bad, also gives us the same problem. Therefore, if we measure zero volts over here, that means that means that this could be open. The fuse could be open, or the wire, obviously. Okay? Now, that's that part. Thank you. I'm going to continue the next one on part two. And it's going to be about the brake lights.